I'm Lego Erin, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to build a mini version of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is a suspension bridge. Here's my finished product. That's the Lego version of me waving hello to you. So I picked this project because it doesn't require a lot of parts and pieces and I thought it might be something that a lot of kiddos can do at home with the parts that they have. And what's pretty cool too is it seems like it uses a lot of the pieces that, you know, sometimes when you're finished building a Lego kit, there's a little bit of extra of, little leftovers for. So you might even be able to just grab those and make this out of those pieces. So let's get started with looking at what the pieces are that are required to build this. For the roadway portion of your bridge build, you're going to need two of these flat plates. Or you might have one really long one at home like that's already just the perfect size. I would say the length isn't as important. It's nice for it to be long, but it isn't as important as the width. We wanna make sure that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, studs across. And I'm going to show you an alternative just in case you don't have plates that have six across. If you have, let's say, a couple smaller pieces like this, well, then you can put them together until you have one, two, three, four, five, six across. And you can hold it in place with a brick. Flipping them over. And putting a brick on, but there you go. And if you can repeat that so that you get a nice length going for your roadway, that's awesome. Next, you'll need 10, one, two, three, four, 10 of these one by four plates. Again, because there's only one, let's say going across, and one, two, three, four going down. Now these pieces are all part of the suspension portion of our suspension bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. But alternatively, if you don't have this length, but let's say you have one that's got three across, not the four needed, and another that's got two, then you can take this. And now you've got one, two, three, four, four across. So there's your alternative. Next up, we're going to need four of the one by six plates. Again, if you don't have plates that are six in length, then you can take, let's say if you have one that's got three and one that's got four, you can put them together and make one that has six in length. We need our bricks. <clears throat> and we call these two by two bricks and we're gonna need 20 of them. And why might you ask we call them two by two bricks? Well, because there are two across and two going down. And we are going to need 20 of them. Alternatively, if you don't have this many of the two by two bricks, but you do have a lot of these, let's say, these are called bars, then you could get some of those. You just need two, you put them next to each other and it makes just the size you need like that. That's one alternative. Another alternative are round bricks, which are so super fun. I love round bricks. As you'll notice in my suspension bridge build, I used round bricks for the top. So that is another alternative. Okay, once you go get all your parts, we can get to building. Okay. There is one other piece that I forgot to mention that is needed, and that would be just any kind of brick to seal your two long pieces together. So 
So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna use just a regular two by four brick in the middle to seal this together. There we go. Now we've got our nice long roadway. Next, I think what I'm gonna do is build the legs, I guess you could say, of my bridge. So I'm gonna take two of these bricks and stack them together. I'm gonna do that again. Then I'm gonna flip, actually, I'm gonna take the road part and I wanna go in four studs. We call these bumps studs. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna put one right here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, starting at this end. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna take the other part and put it there. So there's four studs showing here, and there's four studs showing here. Then we're gonna take the other stack and we're gonna put it directly underneath the top stack, like that. But you gotta repeat and do it on the other side so it can stay sturdy. Got a little bit of a bridge happening, huh? Yay! Now we're gonna take the extra four that we have and, and grab one of our one by four, one out of the 10 of our one by four plates. Just so it's easy to see, I'm gonna pick a white one and use a yellow two by two brick. And we're going to sandwich it in sideways like that. I'm gonna sandwich that in between the bricks. Kind of make sure it's nice and even. Boom. Okay. We're gonna repeat this pattern. These are gonna be the tops of our bridge that help connect the suspension pieces of our bridge. So, when we put them on, we wanna make sure that they are facing out. out. Not inwards like this, but outwards like this. Okay, and now we're gonna build the connecting cables. What makes a bridge a suspension bridge are the columns, the two columns that help hold the roadway up with cables. So we're going to take one of our one by four plates and another one by four plate and connect it at an end, one end like that. Then we're gonna take another one and connect it at the other end like that. So there should be two studs exposed on either, or right there in the middle. Excuse me. Then we're gonna turn that up almost like a smiley face, yay. And we're going to stick them on either end of that top piece in our columns to give us our suspension cable look. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Then we have to do our end pieces that connect to the roadway. So that's where our one by six plates come in. We're gonna take one of those, connect it to the other end of that top column, and have it angling down on the roadway. The same here. And voila! 
in not very many pieces, you've just made a little suspension bridge.